Go ahead, shout it out. The gentleman is not in order. There'll be order in the house. Madam Speaker, I, I came here tonight prepared to talk about the place I represent and how well the Democratic and Republican county officials ran our election. I wanted to point out that in my home county of Allegheny County, in the place they were counting the votes, there were 31 video cameras, 31 in the same place, just showing people counting votes, every single one of them on paper with representatives from both campaigns watching. I wanted to point out to all these great lovers and supporters of the Pennsylvania legislature that it was the Republican Pennsylvania legislature that passed a Republican bill that they all voted for and supported that set up the system under which we just ran the election and that the reason the president lost was because he was not as popular as other Republicans in our state. He got fewer votes than all of them. I wanted to lay out all this evidence, Madam Speaker, because I thought it was a sign of respect for my colleagues, for all the Americans out there who don't know who to trust. I was raised on that. I was raised on that respect, which makes this a hard speech for me to give. Because to do this with any kind of honesty means admitting and declaring in this House that these objections don't deserve an ounce of respect. Not an ounce. A woman died out there tonight, and you're making these objections. Let's be clear about what happened in this chamber today. Invaders came in for the first time since the War of 1812. They desecrated these halls and this chamber and practically every inch of ground where we work. And for the most part, they walked in here free. A lot of them walked out free. And there wasn't a person watching at home who didn't know why that was because of the way that they look. House will be in order. My point, Madam Speaker, is this. Enough has been done here today already to try to strip this Congress of its dignity. And these objectors don't need to do any more. We know that that attack today, it didn't materialize out of nowhere. It was inspired by lies, the same lies that you're hearing in this room tonight. And the members who are repeating those lies should be ashamed of themselves. Their constituents should be ashamed of them. And we know what's going to happen as soon as I walk away, what's happened all night tonight, what will continue to happen. They will take these same symbols, these same concepts. They'll smuggle them into their arguments. They'll make the same arguments. And I want people at home, anyone who is still watching, to know these arguments are not for them. They're for you. None of the evidence we wanted to discuss here tonight will change their opinions or what they're about to say. But you need to know that's not the end. It's not as if there's nothing we can do because of that. And if there was, I don't think this nation would have made it to almost 250 years. The fact is, Madam Speaker, the fact is that at the end of the day, people... The gentleman will say his point of order. Yes, ma'am. Point of order, the gentleman said that there were lies on this floor here today looking over this direction. I ask that those words be taken down. We may have a disagree disagreement of, on, a, on matters, but... Mr. He, man, it's not timely. The, the, no, the gentleman's man not, was not timely. You didn't uh, register an, an appropriate time. The gentleman will proceed. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, the fact is that at the end of the day... Yeah, look, you, look, talk, you sad, say that about true. me every single day. So the truth just hurts. Hold your tongue. The gentleman will proceed. It hurts. Okay. It hurts them. It hurts this country. It hurts all of us. But the fact is that the people have made this country work by not giving in. Go ahead, shout it out. Same the gentleman is true. not in order. The gentleman will proceed. 
Gentleman will proceed. One last thing to say, Madam Speaker, and I thank you for your patience. All people need to know, all they need to know tonight, Madam Speaker. There'll be order in the House. There'll be order in the House. There'll be order in the House. The gentleman will cl clear this chamber. The gentleman will clear the chamber. The gentleman will proceed. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The truth hurts. But the fact is this. We want this government to work more than they want it to fail. And after everything that's happened today, we want that more than ever. Know that. Know that, the people watching at home. We want this government to work. We will make it work. They will not make it fail. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I yield back. Thank you, Tom.
The fact that someone lost their life today, that blood is on Donald Trump's hands and every Republican congressperson that is supporting this. It was a group of white people that were saying, don't tread on me with Confederate flags and Blue Lives Matter uh, flags out there standing up for Donald Trump. That is the reason why. Let's call it what it is. It's white supremacy, supporting white supremacy in this country. And we won't, we, we will not sit by. trash he is despicable i would even go so far as calling him a reprobate a reprobate mind but you know what his days are numbered you want to call them very special you want to say that you love them and they just storm the castle now the thing is if protesters supporting black lives matter if we come and we do that exact if we were to do that exact same thing at the white house would you love us too would you love us? Would you call us very special? Oh, no. You got 
gates and, and it'll be gates and dogs and bars and batons and all kinds of stuff coming our way. So let's not be hypocritical, Mr. President. I'm all in. Where, can, where is the paper? Give me the paper to sign. Give me the document. I'm all in. <laughs> I'm ready. I got a pen. election was stolen and we have proof we don't quietly take the election fraud we don't quietly take the scam this will be their destruction they were ginning up the crowd to a frenzy are we gonna fight like a flint tomorrow yeah. they said something really special is going to happen tomorrow we can't tell you yet the morning of January 6th, I went to the Washington Monument where Trump was to be speaking at the Ellipse at 11 a.m. When I got there, there were tens and thousands of people. I saw the Proud Boys arrive, and I followed them as they marched to the mall and headed towards the Capitol, and they were chanting, F*** Antifa, F*** Antifa. F Antifa, F Antifa, F Antifa. So I went back to where Trump was speaking, and we waited another hour till he came out. If they don't get this right, they got to get the two shoulders. You can carry a flag on the front of the right side. We are going to change our country back, okay? Stop talking, let's start hanging! I really believe that Trump delayed that speech for an hour while we sat in the cold to give everybody a head start on that insurrection. We will never give up. We will never concede. And after this, we're going to walk down and I'll be there with you. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. I wandered down to the Capitol, all my friends were there already, and by the time I got there, a lot of people there, and they were starting to go over these barricades. They were cement. They were, you know, they were like built into the thing. There were guys, they were almost like monitors. There were guys with megaphones. They were like corralling them and they were telling them what to do, and they did everything these guys said. Bring the land forward! I'm convinced it was your reason Mark is from what I saw. He called the National Guard team here to clear us out. The Defense Department told her no thank you. Move forward! Save your country! As we moved forward, all of a sudden, you see a guy with a flag, and the crowd goes crazy, and they start cheering. Fight for Trump! 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 I didn't see any cops. I was in Charlottesville, and I was there when the first punches were pulled. There's no cops anywhere in Charlottesville until they shut the place down. The National Guard came in, and the same thing happened here. January 6th is the new 1776! People are coming back out, and they're coughing, and you can see tear gas everywhere. I don't support looting. I don't support violence. I support a peaceful protest to put them on notice that we, the people, demand justice. They were sending them into this thing, and they were just doing whatever these guys told them to do. Somebody asked me what's the next step. Secession! I did not bring my bulletproof vest because I did not know any of this was going to happen. This is a start. I didn't know that they had breached and they had gone inside, so I would I thought they meant inside by where the place where I was. Freedom! 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 Oh, Stop the Stop the Stop the Past year or so that back the blue has 
been really big, right? They love the cops, the cops love them. All of a sudden, the Capitol cops just show up, and they have their gloves, and they push, they literally push the uh, people back. These guys have got the MAGA flags and stuff, and they don't understand what's happening. All of a sudden, they're being tear gassed and beaten. See what they're willing to do to you! See what they're willing to do to you! This is our police! Beat me over the head! Spray me with mace! There's a standoff on one of the side areas of the Capitol. A veteran goes up to them and he takes off his backpack and he takes off his card that identifies that he was a sergeant or whatever. And he said, what about your oath? What about your oath? You should be in jail! Come on, guys! You know, in New York, when an altercation starts, immediately the cops come and they start making arrests. They just break it up immediately. But nothing. It's a very dangerous time because there's a lot of incredibly angry people. And I used to be able to talk to them. It worked for a while, but it doesn't work anymore. Because now they hate the media. They hate Fox. They hate Fox. Congress people actually acknowledged the photographers. They were so grateful for them documenting what was going on. Because the horror of it, I didn't know until I got back to my hotel room that night. I had no idea what was going on. We want Trump! We want Trump! were so pumped. That was what, that was what was scary the other day. They were like animals. They were revved up, you know, and then, you know, what do you do with that? I think they don't bother me because like I'm an old lady and by myself I look kind of unthreatening. They don't know how dangerous I really am. Are traitors! They're fing traitors! Yeah, they never straight sucks. <laughs>